Good morning, YC. TGIF. Thanks for tuning in this morning. I'm excited to be with you and give you this morning's devotional thought. And I pray that this thought is something that can carry you through and can compel you, motivate you, convict you uh, to be a person of generosity, right? That's what this morning's thought is about is being disciples of generosity. We believe that God's word calls us to that because we also believe that God's word shows us that that's who he is. Our God is a generous God. He's generous in how he forgives. He's generous in his mercy. He's generous in his love. He's generous in his grace. God's generous and so we don't have enough time this morning to talk about all the ways that our God is generous. And he invites us into that space of being disciples of generosity because it is our ability to be generous that points people to the cross. It points people to know who God is. It points people to know his love. Our generosity, what we've received from God, his generosity rather, what we've received are all things to be given away. It's not for us to keep. <laughs> We are to be people, disciples, followers of Jesus who are modeling after his generosity. Jesus took a couple loaves of bread, multiplied it, and was generous to over 20,000 people. The Bible reads 5,000, but when you add in all the, the children and the women, scholars say there was close to 20,000 people there. He was generous when he was on the boat with Peter and Peter's pulling all the, all his, keeps casting his net and pulling it in. He's not catching any fish. He tells Peter to throw it out one more time and everyone's boats were so full of fish that they began to sink. That's pretty generous. He's been generous with us. The very fact that you are on a device, whether you're on TV, an iPad, an iPhone, you're on a connected device that has Wi-Fi, you can watch this right now, is a sign that God has been generous to you. <laughs> You have a privilege. You can be on the internet. You can watch Facebook. You can watch YouTube. You can watch different connected ways to stay in the presence and graces of your church body. That is God being generous. And we believe that God's called us to be generous as well. To be a catalyst into other people's lives that they too would know the love of Jesus Christ. That our ability to be generous is also the ability for others to know that we serve a generous God. Today in Acts chapter 20, verse 35, Paul is speaking to a large crowd of believers. He's, he's talking to an upper room group. Uh, and what I mean by that, he's talking to people who are devoted, following, they're on mission. They're all about making decisions and disciples and, and, and building up the church. And this is his last address to them. This is his last moment with them before he kind of goes off into imprisonment and knows that he'll probably never come back. And this was his final statement to them. This was his final statement. So if, if this was my final statement to you, I am no Paul. I'm Pastor Jake, not Paul, right? But if I were in his shoes and I was using this connected way to get the gospel through to you, I think I'd say something similar. This is what he says. In everything I did, everything Pastor Jake did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak Remembering the words of the Lord Jesus himself that said, it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. <laughs> Jesus Christ himself said it is more blessed to give than to get. <laughs> if I had any last words, it would be that. I would remind you to be generous because it, we are far more blessed to give than it is to receive. I just want to encourage you that as you go into this weekend and you go into next week and you go into this year and you go into 2021, that we think about what we can give back in this year, that we think about what we can give away. And, and for sometimes when we think about things we can give, we always think about we materialize that. We think about the material things we can give away. But, but I want to challenge you to think through the spiritual pieces that you can give away. Give away hope. Give someone the word of God that helps them know that they too can believe and experience salvation. They can experience God's graces, God's love, God's mercy, God's forgiveness. Give away the gospel so that more people can be discipled and follow Jesus. 
Give away your faith. Share with others what God did in your life. Share with others the, the God story, the, the, the moment when you were at your lowest of lows and God pulled you out of that and showed you his promises, his promises to restore you, his promises to redeem you. Be generous in that kind of way. I pray that the Lord sustains you and motivates you to be the kind of person that doesn't receive, but gives. <laughs> God, we pray that we can give out of abundance, out of the abundance, out of the time that we spend with you. We're connected to your word, God. When we connect to you daily through your word, through the Bible, through prayer engagement, that we would be generous in giving that away to others in our small groups as we grow in community. And in, in not only just in our small groups, but in our community, our everyday place where we work, uh, our neighborhoods, wherever we're at, that we would take what we got from you and give it away and be generous with that. And that we would serve others with it. That we would serve others by giving them hope, giving them a future that you have planned for them and explaining to them that you love them and are prepared to give them a life that is transformative to where they're at now. I pray that we'd be generous in how we meet others where they are and love them to where Christ wants them to be. I pray these things in Jesus' name. I pray that you have a wonderful day. I pray that you have a wonderful weekend. God bless. Take care.